Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for singles for January 29th through February 4th. This is for the sign of Libra. Now this is a singles reading in love. If it doesn't resonate, just take what does and leave the rest. Aha! Somebody's not listening to their inner guide. They're not believing in themselves. They're losing faith. Not willing to start over. Not willing to go down a new path. Staying stuck. Not taking a risk. Not having faith again. Somebody's not having faith. When all you really need to do is act now. Think later. Accept the truth of a situation. Somebody's just not accepting the truth. I mean... To get what you want, you need to take action. You need to accept the truth and you need to have faith. Because you really don't want to grow old alone. Okay, you really don't. And I feel like it's been a time of reflection. And you've been going through this period of solitude that really has served you well. But you really have to have faith. Okay. Right now, you're deceiving yourself. You are. And you may feel be feeling bitter. You may be feeling like... I don't even want anybody at this time. This is the this is a very bitter energy when it's reversed. You may be feeling bitter, angry, upset. Um, fact of the matter is, all you want is true love, and you're deceiving yourself by not having faith. It's really time for you now. The thing is, is when the five of wands comes out re reversed, it's like you're reluctant. I see your reluctance, but this is, you should be feeling relieved, okay? You should be really feeling relieved that whatever didn't work out didn't, wasn't meant for you, okay? It really is a time of relief, not, time, not a time of conflict, but you're letting your thoughts get the best of you, and it's making you bitter. But you really need to stand up for yourself, and you're going to have to struggle through this. It's time to let go. All right. I feel like you you have been resisting this change because this is what the hangman means. You've been resisting it, holding on, resisting it, holding on, and this card is telling you that you're going to have to struggle through it and have a new perspective. But because she is reversed, which represents you, you're refusing to see a new perspective. And by refusing to look at things differently, but to open your eyes to see the new door, you are deceiving yourself by not accepting the truth, okay? And if you guys don't like my tone, my tone adjusts to the reading, okay? And that is the way that it is. So, I mean, that's the way it is. Clinging to the past. Oh, yes. Somebody is clinging to the past and it's making them very bitter. And uh, there's been a rejection. It's like, you know what? I've been rejected. Somebody is rejecting your offer. Or you're rejecting theirs. And, yeah, it's not, it's not making you happy. It's like you want to offer love and somebody is not accepting it. Offering love, no acceptance. Somebody from the past hanging on when you really need to let go. You need to come out of the dark. It is time to come out of the dark. These power struggles, they don't serve you. And there's no need to prove yourself. It isn't. It's no need no need to prove that you're right or that this person is the one for you. You can't make somebody love you. And I understand that that really, really, really hurts. But it's time to bring balance back to your life. Okay? It was just an obsession. It's time for renewal. It's time to compromise. It's time to heal and right now you're not letting it happen things are completely stalled there's no communication you're you're not happy it's causing a lot of heartache but you're not you're not taking you're not doing what you need to do you're blocking yourself from healing when this renewal is absolutely needed like i said you need to look at this from a new perspective you need to look at this as a time of renewal as a time of rebirth but you're not
Instead, you've got your sword up and you're ready to fight for something. You're ready to fight for something that doesn't even exist. And you, it's time. It's like the, you, you, it's time for a change. It's time for you to make a decision. It's time for you to stop juggling. It's time for you to stop playing games. You're not focused on the future. You're focused on this past, this past commitment, this past union that you had with somebody. You just can't let it go when it feels like you were involved with somebody who had another option and you just cannot let it go. It's a time of realizing that your future is bright, but you're not. You're not, you're not realizing that the future is bright at this time. And you're missing opportunities for an actual commitment. Because you will not release. It's time to release. And follow your inner guide. Really, really listen. It's really time for you to use your inner power to heal yourself. Okay? It is seriously time for you to come out of the dark. It's time for you to come to realize the truth. Alright? Wherever you are at, it was unstable. It was insecure. It's, it's really the time for you to come out of the darkness and end this difficult period in your life. Because all it was was karmic and sexual. Okay? That's all it was. And now that it's a change of course that you're not accepting. Okay? It's time to change your course. But when the Wheel of Fortune comes up reverse, it's like you won't let it end. And if you don't let it end, there's no change of course. And there'll be no new love coming in. And bitterness, okay, if you're bitter, then you haven't let it end, okay? And the universe knows if you're bitter, all right? So if you're bitter and you haven't totally left the situation, then there's no new love coming in, okay? There's, it's, a, it's a time of, I, I see that you're disappointed, you're very disappointed, but you know you need to walk away. You need to continue up the hill. You need to not look back because where you're at, there's no love. Okay, you're stuck in a predicament that where there's no forward movement because you can't let go of something that you are karmically tied to. Okay, this is the devil. You are karmically tied to a person and the bitterness that you have is holding you back. And you, it's like you, you just, you have this, I can't move on. I can't move on. I can't move on. And you were dealing with somebody who was focused more on money than love. He was focused on more than on money and sex than love. Okay? And that's why this thing fell apart. This, this fell apart because it wasn't meant to be. Okay? That's why it broke down. You need to consider it as a blessing in disguise. Okay? But you're not. You're not looking at it like that. You're feeling bitter. You're ready to fight. You're ready to attack. Because you're not happy with how the outcome, because of the rejection that happened. Okay? And that's bitterness. And if you're bitter, then there's certainly no new love coming in. Okay? So this tells me that whatever fell apart needed to happen. Okay? It needed to break down. And you are being called to move on from it. It was very materialistic and sexual. It was a karmic tie that wasn't meant to be forever. And now there's lack of wish fulfillment because you haven't completely closed that door. You must free yourself. It's a mental trap. You need to refocus. You need to look elsewhere. You need to get creative. You need to relight the passion within you. It's time to shed the baggage, shed the past, let it go. So that you can have your actual rebirth, the happiness that you deserve. It's time. It's time for your awakening. It's time for you to wake up. Again, we have karma. It was karma. It's time to release the past. When the judgment card comes out, it's time to release the past. Please do it. Please forgive yourself. Forgive others. There was something that was revealed that took you down. It took you down. And now it's time for your rebirth. It truly is. Look at it as a time of rebirth. Look at it as an awakening. You, 
you know, it's time to release this pain. It's time to release this despair. It's time to release this anguish and stop feeling like you don't, you can't move. You can't move. You can move. If you are withdrawn and you can't get out of bed and you can't move and you can't do anything, then you can't go through your rebirth. It's time for a renewal. It's time for you to love yourself again. I feel like you guys are overly emotional. You may feel like you're the victim. If you're if you're very overly emotional, then you're going nowhere. It's time for you to master your emotions and stop feeling so down. Stop feeling like this was the only opportunity. Stop feeling like you're never going to be alive again, okay? And you are, but you're not. You're not you are blocking happiness by living in this state of mind, okay? You're, you're being dishonest with yourself, Libra, and I'm sorry, okay? This justice card has come up in reverse to say it's time to own up to the truth. It's time for to release. It's time to release the past, please. Otherwise, you're never going to have a happy relationship, all right? There was problems anyway. It's time. It's time for you to let the old past relationship go so that a new one can come in. And for many of you, I mean, this is what this reading is about. You haven't let go of the past. And because you haven't let go of the past, there's no new love coming in. You're not investing in the future. And that's all there is to it. So I'm not going to keep going because it's pretty cut and dry. This reading is meant for somebody. It probably isn't meant for everybody. And I'm sure some of you will take this the wrong way. And that's okay. Okay? But for many of you that are watching this, you need to resist. You I mean you need to stop resisting. You need to stop resisting. That's what you've been resisting. You need to stop resisting this change that is needed. It was karma. It was a false foundation. The universe, the tower, it was here. It came in to break it down. It's a blessing in disguise to make you wake up. It's time for your rebirth. It's time for you to stop being bitter and to look at this from a new perspective. Stop being overly emotional about it. I'm going to get you an advice card. So is there new love coming in? No, there isn't. Because you're bitter. Oh, perfect. Time to go. The sun sets and rises each day. And it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life. And know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning. And we are with you through each phase and cycle. This is like a broken record. You guys have been holding on for way too long. And as long as you hold on, you will grow old alone. Let go of the past. It's time for a rebirth with endings brings new life. And we have it with this card, the judgment card, the sun card. I'm telling you what. It's time for your rebirth. Let it go. It ended so that something more beautiful could begin. It was a karmic lesson that came to teach you to get you ready for the real one. Okay? I really am sick of playing this record. Aren't you? 